All right, Nick, let's talk about the Ohio State Buckeyes. Today we have a very important story to the Buckeyes program, but no, it is not another high-level recruit that they have gotten, yet it is a different you know, coaching staff style move that I think is very key for this team going forward. I think it was a very good addition. So stay tuned to hear about this story. My I agree with you 100%. I think Ryan Day and company pulled off a really smart move. But before we get into that story, got a really interesting question for Ohio State fans to answer. As always in the comments section, well, this one's going to be a real hard one. Who is the greatest wide receiver in Ohio State history? There's literally so many great Ohio State wide receivers. There's been like 10 first round draft picks, I think. And I think that's just the last year, right? You go back all the decades of Ohio State history. There's so many great names. This one's going to be really interesting. Curious what you guys have to say. So in the comment section below, give me who you think the greatest wide receiver in Ohio State history is. All right, Miles, what you got? What's this big move out of Columbus? Yeah, Nick, that is a very hard question because there truly has been like five to seven really great receivers in like the last three years. So that's yeah. it's really crazy, uh, the talent they pull out of the school, Nick. But let's talk again about the offensive side of the ball and how they have gotten better on the coaching staff. I'm going to get into the article straight away, and then we can talk about it. Everyone from Ohio State who's a fan already knows it. Joe Philbin has now joined this coaching staff. And here is the article, Nick. One of the most prestigious programs in all of college football is looking to bolster its offense this upcoming season, and they've turned to the most unexpected candidate. Maybe not that unexpected if you think about it, but Joe Philbin, the former Miami Dolphins head coach and most recently the offensive line coach with the Dallas Cowboys, is set to join Ryan Day's staff at Ohio State. The news was first reported by ESPN senior college football writer Pete Thamel. During his 39 years in coaching, 39 years, there's a lot of experience there, Nick, uh, uh, Philbin has held every offensive position under the sun at the collegiate and professional levels. His most notable stop and longest coaching tenure was in Green Bay, where he started as an offensive line assistant and worked his way up to offensive coordinator, playing a pivotal role in the Packers Super Bowl championship. Last season, Philbin was offensive line coach with Mike McCarthy, uh, McCarthy and the Dallas Cowboys, where he spent three seasons. He now joins the Buckeyes, where he looks to help one of the nation's best offenses. Nick, I think this is a great coaching hire. I think when you bring in a guy like Philbin, who's, they said, 39 years of coaching experience. He's been through almost four decades of any different kind of football. He's been through every era of the last 40 years of football. Nick, he has a lot of knowledge to bring to the table. Even if he's not coaching a specific position, just the ability that he can bring to give people uh, you know, quick tips, you know, things that he's seen to uh, pass. This guy is going to be a game changer for Ohio State because they're almost there, Nick. This isn't a team that needs a complete overhaul. This is a team that just needs that little bit more of an edge, and they win that game. They go to the college football playoff, potentially win the college football playoff last year. So I think this is an excellent hire. Any little advantage Ohio State can get, I think is well worth it. But Nick, what are your thoughts on this hire? So I think it just is a continued recognition of the evolution of the college game. And here's what I mean by this. I remember growing up in the early 2000s watching college football and all the best teams. The quarterbacks there were never really anything special. Matt Mock at LSU never did anything in the NFL. Jason White out of Oklahoma never even, I think, was, I think went undrafted, was never even really given a shot in the NFL. How about Troy Smith from the Ohio State Buckeyes? Obviously, he was a very late round pick. I don't think he played very minimally as a backup in the NFL. In those days, I grew up watching college football. The quarterback mattered, but he didn't have to be elite. It wasn't built like like the NFL, where the quarterback is the focus of the entire football team. It's changed. The college game, as we've seen over the past decade or so, has become extremely quarterback-centric. And with that in mind, NFL strategies matter. It's about surrounding – it's about getting the right quarterback, number one, but surrounding him with talent, protecting him, and on the defensive side, getting after him. Ryan Day recognizes this, obviously, and that's why he's bringing in an NFL guy to help with the high-level decision-making, maybe some game planning, maybe some analysis here and there. I think the teams that are most successful in college football year in and year out – are the teams that take the NFL approach. We talked about this about other teams. That's why, by the way, one of the reasons, one of the hidden reasons why Nick Saban has been so successful, he brings in a lot of NFL guys, right? A lot of guys that Bill Belichick recommends and throws his way from New England Patriots and some other guys as well. In fact, Nick Saban had a great career in the NFL as a defensive coordinator for the Cleveland Browns for the, in the 90s. Teams that have NFL backgrounds at the college level tend to do extremely successful because they understand that the college game is very quickly migrating to the NFL mindset. I think Ryan Day has recognized this since all the talent he's had on this team has gone to the NFL. He understands that the game is shifting that way or it has already shifted 
perspective that way, I should say, and that the way he can stay on top of this and continue to win is by bringing in smart, experienced NFL minds into the program. We see uh, Hartline, obviously, an NFL wide receiver coming in. The job he's done recruiting and leading that wide receiver group has been stupendous, and he's continuing that with the addition of Joe Philbin, which I think is a really smart move uh, by this program. Yeah, Nick, and you know the obviously chemistry there between the two. They cross paths while they're in Miami, so that is only going to help things there. And I just want to touch on one more thing. I say small moves make big differences, Nick. Uh, Last year, the Buckeyes averaged 490.7 yards per game ninth Mm -hmm. most in college football pretty good but maybe a little bit of tweaking they can get it up there there's still room for improvement and again they finished fifth in scoring 579 points last season very very good but yet not number one they were not top of the league so there is room for improvement there are slight tweaks that can get them to be a little bit better that's why there's more knowledge that joe Philbin can bring to maybe help push them over the edge 